Hi, thank you for coming in for a video. We're going to do a jewelry bag, jewelry jar as I call them, because they're all the same thing. Sometimes they're in a jar, sometimes they're in a bag. They're always a mystery. We never know what's in them. It could be garbage, and many times it's not. So we're going to get started very shortly. I'm going to start by showing you my rings of the day, because people are often curious what I'm wearing. So today I'm wearing a Kirk's Folly butterfly. I love that little crystal ring. It's so pretty. That was a gift from a wonderful subscriber. Thank you, Miss Linda. And then this is a very old inlay ring that I bought when I was a teenager, very, very long ago. Beautiful, unsigned Native American piece with turquoise, coral, onyx, and mother pearl. Absolutely adore that ring. I really don't have very high expectations for this one. It was expensive, $60. Not as expensive as some of the other ones that I bought that day, but it's not very heavy. And that usually indicates not that much metal in there. But again, you never know. Love the gamble. And that's what we're doing here. We are having a gamble of a time treasure hunting for jewelry. Well, we know it's jewelry, but well, we hope it's mostly jewelry. Sometimes they throw in crazy things like rubber bands and toys. And you just never know. But we're going to... Throw some out there. Looks like a ring popped out. I'm going to throw some out here. And let me get that ring out of the way. Let's look at this ring. It's sterling. It's pink. It is Mark Sterling. It's beautiful. It's an opal. I'm sure it's a man-made Gilson opal, but it's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Just what I needed, too. Another thumb ring. I love that. That is so cute. Well, bingo right off the bat with a little sterling thumb ring, right? Oh, this is pretty too. This is really pretty. A little stretch bracelet with mother of pearl inlaid there. Very nice. Let's get this one out of the way before it causes trouble. And it gets so twisted up when they put them in these jars. It, oh, it's such a pretty one too. It really is. This could have been a very nice look if it hadn't gotten all twisted up in here. Look how pretty that color is. Now, sometimes they can be fixed, but mm, probably just put it in a crafter lot. Maybe somebody can use the beads. Love that color, though. That's really pretty. Got matching earrings. I might be able to keep the earrings. I like the earrings. Okay, what is this necklace? It is cute. What do we have here? We have interesting beads. They look like little Buddhas or something. Cross. An elephant. Some art glass. A cross. Boy, they just threw everything in here. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, I'm loving these. These are nice. They're wood and they're mustard color. I might turn them gold though. I really like them because they're lightweight. I may paint these. I don't know if I like the mustard color. I may paint them gold. Right? I'm getting so creative in my mind. <laughs> we shall see. In my mind, it was always coming up with ideas. These are very lightweight little rings of silver and gold earrings. These are matching earrings and they're little hearts made of wood. Big chunky earrings. Well, at least we have a match. This is glass. This is very sticky but it's very pretty. It's got some really nice colors. I'm going to have to wash that. Put that in the bath. That is so pretty, especially with um, fall colors coming around, or fall coming around soon. It reminds me a little bit of a trick-or-treat treat there, right? That's very interesting. Those yellow ones sure are glowy, too. Agate, imitation agate earring. Then we have a little tangle here. I think this is one necklace with a lot of layers multi-layered necklaces that look great 
but boy, are they annoying in a jar. It's, I'm, I can't do it. <laughs> I really can't. I'm going to give that one to Robert. I might not even give it to him because it's, it's just too much. There's too much to look at, and I'm not going to spend another 20 minutes doing it. All right, pretty watch, not working. It says quartz on it. These beads are so big. Here, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. All right, this one was pretty. These are all crystal beads, all nicely knit on here. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. I love that. No clasp on it whatsoever. Just a whole lot of beautiful beadwork there. Look at that. Nice long necklace. I like that. All right, then there's a interesting choker. This one's actually pretty if you wear chokers. And it's like a rose gold color, blackened rhinestones as well. Okay. We got another little knit. This reminds me of something like a net. Very cool. Looks like kind of a hematite color. And I think those are tiger eye. Can't quite tell if they're tiger eye or just some kind of brown stone, some metal stones. That's pretty too. And it's a little bit longer than the other one. Seems like it's longer. It's very nice. That's pretty. I think I got a bracelet something like this the other day. This one got bent up. Can straighten that out though. Have a heavy mandrel to do that with. Okay. Now we have a little single earring. We have some really funky earrings. Like, who would put these on some kind of a crazy wire? I like those lever backs. Could save that for crafting. And oh, these are cute. Is that missing a stone there? Yeah, one of them has some missing stone. But wow, they're pretty. They're brass. I think they just put them on these extra long hooks. I'm not crazy about that. They're not bad looking. Oh, here's a nice ring. Looks a little bit like a James Avery design, but I don't know. I haven't seen this design. Kind of reminds me of the Sorrento. I think it's called the Sorrento. No, 925 is all it says. That's nice though, still sterling. Yeah, it's a 925 ring. It's really pretty. It almost looks like a bypass or a butterfly design. And it is marked 925 in there somewhere. There it is right there on the side. So that's nice and it fits. Can't beat that unless it was a James Avery. That would have been really nice. Oh, these are cute. These are cute earrings. I hope we get the other one though. Very boho. Uh, some kind of dangly hair. Threaded and some kind of metal wire on it. We got some broken pieces. Okay, let's stop digging from the bottom. I hate when I do that. Okay, these are some really vintage earrings. White hoop. And what is this? Oh, that's a nice one. Well, someone was making earrings with these big hoops. It's a really pretty earring. I hope we get the other one and I'm going to take them off of those big drops. I don't like them on there. Okay, we got a match on these. These are very nice. They look, look like they have carnelian and other natural stones. I think I see... Do these match? I don't even think these match. These are not even matching. Look at that. These are blue and these are black. Maybe there's two pairs in here. Wow. Okay. Got some pearls. These are just some Mardi Gras style pearls here. And oh, they attach them to another thing. So they attach two kinds of pearls here. And they're both lightweight. One of them are kind of like molded on there. They're not even strung. New York and Company. This looks very 80s. Wow, how, did, how does this work? I've never seen anything like this. This is really... Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's like um, asymmetrical look, so it'll have this little side thing going on. 
and super giant size pearls. Funky, 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 funky look here. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, we got the match to those crazy earrings that were on bendable wire. Here. These are pretty pearls. Nice clasp. I think I'll put that in a crafter lot as well, all together now. And there I go, trying to get from the bottom. It's a shell. Big giant shell. Very pretty shell. I love it. That's a nice one. Look, a little embedded pearl. I have to weigh this down maybe. I'm going to try doing the heat element though. I really think it might iron it out. Okay. More of these molded type of pearls. Almost Mardi Gras style. These hoops are cute. They're green. Those are kind of cute. Huge. I might dangle something on those. Wouldn't that be cute? I don't know. Oh, this is pretty. A little stretch. Beautiful shell on this. Oh my goodness. Beautiful denim color. I love that. That's pretty. It's a nice design too. Stretch is still nice and taut. Yeah, it's a torque. Wow, nice torque. It looks, oh, it hooks right there. I wonder if it's sterling or it looks like brass. Very nice. It's nice to have a brass one. Because oh, it's actually looking like a gold one, isn't it? It's beautiful. Look at the way it hooks. I wonder if it's not gold over or verme or something. Let me see if I don't see any marks on it. It's very nice if you don't want to spend money on a real gold one. The only wear I see is in the back. And that's what made me think it might be sterling. But then it's it's just all in gold here. I don't see anything marked. Look at that nice hook. And it's flat. It looks just like my James Avery. Except my James Avery doesn't close. Very cool. I'm happy with this. Here's an enhancer. This opens up so you can put it on some beads or something. I think there's a stone missing though, so that's not cool. Yes, there is, unfortunately, a stone missing on that. Okay, so where shall I put this? Hmm, I think I'll put it in a crafter. The marked best. Yeah. I mean, it's really not totally obvious, but I'll put in a crafter lot. Okay, these are very interesting stones. Whatever they are. They might be acrylic. Look like they're made to look like black coral. But they don't feel like coral. They feel like plastic. Yeah. But they're nice. They've got a really nice look about them. They're chunky. Yeah, they look like black coral. Very cool piece. Then we have this one. These are those Hawaiian nuts, I think. I think they're nuts. Yeah. These don't even feel like the nuts. They feel like the plat like they don't feel like the nuts. They feel like man-made nuts. <laughs> man-made nuts, y'all. Honestly, they do. Don't they, they even sound plasticky. I don't know. They're going in a craft a lot. Okay, we got the match to the earrings, which is great. But I am going to put some other some other kind of a hook on those. Those are really nice. I like the mixed metal on them. But I think I'm going to take those those lever backs or some other kind because I don't think I like them on these big long hooks. I think it'll be, they'll be too long and whatnot. They're pretty though. I do like these. I'm just going to switch the hooks out on them. Very cool. 
This blue thing is so cool. It looks like blue coral. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. I don't even think there is such a thing as blue coral, is there? <laughs> But what an interesting look. Turquoise colored coral. Wow. That is interesting to say the least. Okay. Another ring. Cool. Is it a sterling ring with a panda? Be nice if it was the gold panda. Remember the gold pandas of the 80s? Everybody had one. It's so pretty. It's a panda. It's like those those china coins that were all the rage in the 80s 70s and it is sterling yeah it's marked over here on the edge it's sterling it needs to be cleaned but it is marked there 925 sterling and it's really cute it's made just like those coin rings that were in gold and so popular but I'll bet it'll look just as pretty. Well, maybe not just as pretty, but it'll look pretty <laughs> when I get it polished up. Oh, I love it. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. Love that. Let me see if this one fits. This one fits too. It's like a size five. All right. So we got some sterling rings, three sterling rings so far. This one was only $59. Oh, this is darling. These are all glass. How cute is this little thing? It's just strung here. But I can always put one of those. I kept calling them extenders. They're called shorteners. I finally remembered. <laughs> yeah, I can put one of those on there or a brooch or something. How cute. I love the colors of this. This is darling. Uh, this is alpaca. Oh, we got two cool alpaca earrings. Oh, these are pretty. Look at those. Look at that beautiful mother of pearl and the abalone. Oh my gosh, the abalone is beautiful. Looks like an ocean right there. These are probably signed alpaca, and they are indeed. They're alpaca, which is just an alloy of nickel, silver, and copper, I believe. No silver content but they shine up nicely when you get them clean up and they do amazing amazing inlay work these are mexican design beautiful i love those okay we did get the match on the hoops the pearl hoops these are cute they are pierced and those are nice it's about a two inch hoop right there very nice <gasps> who makes this white house black market I think it is. Yes, it is White House Black Market. That's a very nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is a beautiful Y necklace. Look at that. It's blue and black. And then it has this beautiful little ring. And then it has a nice drop. And then it culminates in this fantastic tassel. That is pretty. That is pretty. That gives me a deep deco vibe for sure. It's got a strand of rhinestones in the tassel. Beautiful. That's nice. That probably sold for what the entire bag sold for. Guarantee. White House Black Market is not cheap. Okay, these are very old. And they've lost all their luster. What a beautiful clasp. This is a really nicely done glass. It's very old though. Glass pearls. And they are even knotted. These were probably Japanese. So cool. It makes me sad to see them like this though. It just happens when they're exposed to the elements. Oh, these are interesting. Look at these artsy things. Little rhinestones. Do we have a match? I don't see a match yet. And we have some buttons in here. Big old 80s button earrings. Look at these. Oh my gosh, they're even heavy. Look at that. Silver tone. Wow. Then 
Here's this a stretch that broke. No, it's not a stretch. Okay, it's a necklace. Oh, pretty. This matched those earrings. There was one earring that matched it. Okay, we have matching earrings to the faux coral quasi-turquoise <gasps> necklace. Okay, this is really pretty, though. I like this. I know this is probably just mall jewelry. Yeah, it's Charming Charlie's. Nice job, though, on these stones. They look like agates and amber. Very nice look. And that is a Charming Charlie's, I believe. Very nice. Yeah, that's pretty. That glows very nicely. We have, okay, we do have these. These are so cool. These are really nice. They are brass, enameled, and then they have some embedded stones, like uh, rhinestones and bugle beads. I think those are kind of cool. They're kind of ethnic looking, kind of exotic. I don't know. They're they're pretty pretty interesting things there. Oh, another one of these little knit by numbers here. I don't know. It's so cool. It's a little tangle here. Let's get it out. These are real pearls. Very nice. Oh, this one actually has a, a clasp. Wow, this one's nice. Oh, okay, so this goes like this. This is like festooned. Yeah, this is intentionally knotted. Wow, this one's beautiful. Look at that. And these are genuine pearls. Little Baroque pearls. Very pretty. Oh my goodness. Is this Tinkerbell or a fairy? She's a, where does she belong? On my phone? I think she belongs on my phone to keep it silent. Or on the computer. <laughs> Look at that. A little phone jewelry. Wow. Okay. All right, here we have a little animal print, uh, brass findings. I think they're wood. Yeah, these are all wood beads. And, oh, we have some more of these. Wow. We have uh, Mickey. This is the Mickey Eiffel Tower. I believe that's what it reminds me of. It's got a bow and like an ear and the Eiffel Tower and wow I've never seen anything like that I think there's a couple of them in here no I don't know what this is let's look these are what are these aliens these are earrings like little aliens they're little what are they oh my god they're kind of creepy what are they like babies look at that aren't they creepy I don't know what they are I think they're creepy don't know what they are, but they are creepy, right? I mean, they're like playing dice. I don't know. Marbles? Wow. You just never know what you're going to find in these things. I'm telling you. Okay, we did get the match on these. These are cute. And some tidbits and some tidbits. Little wood earrings there. Oh, we have matching earrings to the little black thing, too. The big black thing. So those are matching too. Is it definitely not coral? This is bone. A donkey? I think it's a donkey. I think it's going in a crafter lot. Oh, that's a pretty hoop. Let's see if I find the match to it. This is interesting. I love the colors on this, pink and white. Look at these beautiful beads. This would make a great crafter piece because I can see earrings right here with these three stones, three beads. All right, this is an uh, interesting clasp on this one. I don't see a maker on it. No maker on it. But that's just a really nice, probably 70s, 80s. Piece. I love the soft pink on that. It's so pretty. Very nice. Here's a brass one. Look at this. Wow, look at these. These are metal stackable discs in there. Got some brass. No maker on it. It's just a long 
brass kind of blackened as well and then it has this these are all individual little caps I guess wow that's really exotic interesting now what do we have okay we do have the match on these hoops these are really pretty they're sparkly kind of a morganite color those are very pretty then we have a stretchy ring oh how cute Wow, that's blingy. That is really, really blingy. I think it's probably paparazzi or something. What is this? Look at this thing. This is... Wow, look at this. Looks like some kind of tribal fabric. And it's got the uh, maker there, I guess. Look at that. These are all wood. Barrel clasp. That's pretty. Look at the way this kind of drapes side to side there. That is really cool. Can't see if it's African or what, but it's got a very interesting design to it. Oh, it's made by Shell. I don't know what it says there. Maybe it's Shelly. Well, someone made that and signed it. Very cool. These are all wood. I like it. It's a lot of work going into that. Oh, look at this big hoop. And we've got some stretch bracelet here. Kind of a southwest look to it. Match to this, that necklace. But it's funny that it doesn't have coral. It's just got the agate. And I have the other one here somewhere. Here it is. So these did get matched up. We have some mother of pearl beads here. More of those very interesting beads. Look at this one. It's like a cat. Oh, it's a cat. I thought it was like a Buddha. Um, an elephant. Elephant appears to be bone. Some wood, glass, all kinds of elements in here. And then these are some kind of a shell as well. Very nice. I guess it would look nice with that other one paired up. Then these are acrylic. Silver tone. And boy, it's long. Very nice. It's got like a black and blue shade to it. That might look good paired up with that White House Black Market. Maybe. Very interesting. Yeah, these are all acrylic. I like the two-tone color in there, though. It's black and blue. Very nice. A B. It's a sterling. Looks like a sterling. Yeah, it's Mark Sterling, and it's the initial B. It looks like the initial B to me. Let me see if it doesn't have a another mark on it. Wow, you know what this is? This is so interesting. I could have swore it said sterling, but you know what it says? It says Monet. It actually says Monet on it. And I know Monet made sterling. Wow, so I think it's silver tone, but it does say Monet on the, on the bail. So it's actually a pendant. Yeah, it says Monet on there. So interesting wow look at these got some spiky 80s colored earrings look at that pink and blue very 80s very cute <laughs> those are so cute in these colors they would not be as cute if they were in another color got these tiny little okay i'm gonna get these gold hooks are very nice with that beige gold and I'm gonna put them on those on these they would look a lot better than this long silver thing let me see if there's any kind of a mark on them they look well made I thought they might be a Kendra or something because it's such a nice hook but Kendra usually does stones so nice nice to have the hook and then we've got is this another best this is dirty too. It's like leather, but it's messed up. 
I think I'm going to try to take this out of there if I can. I don't know. It's kind of hard to take that out. That's some thick gauge metal there. Because that, no, I'm not going to make my husband do that. <laughs> I don't like to put him to work for too much stuff to cut it. Because he could, but it's not worth it. I'll just stick it on a crafter lot. Maybe someone can spray paint that, throw a rhinestone on it. Crafty people out there, I'm telling you. You get the match to this one. It's very lightweight. Nothing to write home about. This looks like it belongs on a purse or something. What is this? It's a G. Is that for gas? Is that a 30th? What in the world? I think it's a bracelet of some sort. I have no idea. But it does say 30. And it looks like that is a G or some kind of a logo. Don't know. Faux pearl with a faux clasp pearl. <laughs> with a faux pearl clasp on some kind of nylon. Yep. We have a whole bunch of broken things. We've got the requisite shells. And these earrings came out of somewhere. I don't know where. Here is another interesting wow look at this one these are pretty beads i don't know oh look this one looked like a crack looks like a pumpkin oh my gosh they're resin they're just made out of resin they're nice though leather cord on that one wow that's interesting i think i'll put that in a crafter lot as well we have this one it's a little moon glow. I think it's silver tone. I'm sure the torque is also silver tone. Whatever happened to my magnet? Here it is. I never use my magnet anymore. I don't know why. Just forget. Well, it's not sticking. But that doesn't mean a darn thing. It actually looks kind of pretty with this patina that they added to it. It's got a nice look to it. It was a nice hoop and I didn't get it to match. And I got three sterling rings. So I think I got more than my money back on the $60. And a little bit more. I love the necklaces that we got. They were very interesting. Especially these crystal ones are amazing. All in all, not a bad jar. If you enjoyed going through it like I did, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, subscribe, consider becoming a member of the channel as well to support the content here, which will include some perks that you can use over on my Facebook auction. And if you're interested in the auction, anything that I just talked about is in the description box. Auction is a free group and it is every weekend. So hopefully you can see me sell some of these wonderful things there but if you ever see anything in a video that is of interest to you please just email me that information is in the description box as well have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye